G'day guys, in this video I'm going to make a body out of this uh, polymer clay here. Uh, I'm going to make a body for the um, for Bert there, so you, can, so you can sit inside the bandit car. Um, I still need to make seats for that and so on, but you know, we'll get there. Um, so I'm going to use this um, Tower Pro mini servo. Um, idea being we can turn his head when the steering goes. Um, yeah, and then I've got a shirt here. I can uh, make a shirt out of uh, yeah, some red fabric there. Um, so I'll use pink for the body because I've got a polymer clay set and uh, yeah, I'm not right into pink, so I'll kind of get rid of that and put a shirt over it. <laughs> I'll probably start by taking these little ears off the uh, servo, try and make it a bit smaller and then just kind of mold the, uh, the polymer clay around it. Um, it's going to have to go this way, of course, with his head up here somewhere. Um, so he might end up with a bit of a belly on him. But uh, I'll try and get that as low in the car as I can. Uh, I've also got this uh, wire that I'll cut off some mesh. Um, so that'll do for his arms. I'll probably twist that up and uh, put it through the torso. Um, then I can bend the arms wherever they need to be. Let's get started. So here I've just run some, um, I've twisted up some wire and I've uh, wrapped some some polymer clay over it. Um, so we've got the forearm there and the upper arm there. Uh, probably doesn't look perfect, but it's going to have a shirt over it. Um, naturally, I'll, what I'll do is I'll bake this and uh, then add the hand on. Um, but I want to bake this and keep these separate so so that I can bend it at the elbow. Um, again, there'll be a shirt over it, so you don't need to really have a nice looking elbow, I don't think. Um, yeah, so I'll bake them and we'll go from there. Alright, so our torso's out of the oven. Cracked a little bit through there, but that's okay. Still quite warm. Um, so we can slip our servo in there. And I'll stay like that, um, glue it in, whatever. Uh, so he doesn't need a big belly now. Um, he'll be reasonably flat on the front. And um, what I intend to do is I'll mould the back seat 
up here out of using the clay and uh, the servo will stick into or stick through the seat and hopefully you won't see it so in my wisdom I forgot all about putting the wire through the body for the arms uh, so what I did I filed a, a slot straight through the center and put some wire through there and bend it up um, and then covered it in the polymer clay um, so went over his shoulders again and uh, and now he's got a chest um, and the back piece there broke earlier so um, they just crumbled away after I took it out of the oven that might not stay there but you know it's not really that important um, you know our servo will be in there um, might move that out a bit before I bake it so yeah, the servo is going to be there somewhere, and uh, I'll just probably araldite that in, and then you know I'll probably use a styrene sheet uh, for the seat. Might have to cut a section out of the centre for the uh, servo to stick out, um, and I'll just bend it over at the top or, or something to uh, make the shape of the seat, um, so he'll actually become part of the seat. Um, and yeah, the shirt, I guess, can get kind of draped over somehow. But uh, yeah, we'll work it out. So there's our arms, fresh out of the oven. So the upper arm's still wobbly, that's okay. I wanted it to move around on there. Um, same on both. And the forearms are still in one piece, which is fine. And I'll put that body in and um, I'll let him go for another half hour or even an hour. Alrighty. Alrighty guys, so all our parts are out of the oven. Um, I'm thinking I probably should have done the hands, you know, first. Uh, oh well, whatever. Um, so yeah, basically one hand will be holding the wheel and the other one will be hanging out the door. <laughs> um, so yeah, I need to, we'll try that now. Um, need a bend in one of them be something like that on the you know hanging out the door there like on the edge of the door um, so I'll bend this around and hook it up to his shoulder area here somewhere um, yeah all pretty ghetto but whatever <laughs> um, yeah and I'll carve up some hands and uh, go from there so uh yeah stay tuned for uh, part two um hopefully we've got some more progress all right thanks for watching